Hi everyone, we're going to create a main menu in Microsoft Access that allows you to search for specific criteria in your form. So it could be a unique identifier, it could be a name, and so on. So I have this form here, it's called Employees, and I have a couple things. I have this employee ID, I have last name, and so on. So I'm going to find a way to search for these. Now right here, I didn't do that much. I created a couple labels, and to do that you just go to Form Design, if you're in this version of Microsoft Access, or it might just be form or design if you're in previous versions. And I just went here and added a label and I just started typing this stuff in. So I won't waste your time with me typing all this. I just wanted to show you. And so we're gonna start with the easiest way to do this and that's using a macro. So let's make a button. Okay, I clicked on toggle button. I like those better than the other buttons. Um, this is huge, you don't have to make it so big. You don't have to use pink either if you don't like that. I don't really care, so. All right, so I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to properties. I'm gonna go to event on click. So when you click on this, it wants you to do something. Go to macro builder. And there's a thing on here to open form. You can see all the other cool stuff that you can do. All right, we wanna open the employees form. And then the where condition, that's where things get interesting. So let's say we want to look at last name. So we'll go last name equals. And then this is like a prompt to do something. So you can say like enter last name or form, whatever you want to say. All right. You do that. You can hit close here. You save it. And then watch this. So I'll type in a last name like Bonds. Okay, Barry Bonds opens here. All right, so that's the easiest way of doing this. All right, this time we're gonna do something a little snazzier. We're gonna use this toggle button again. I'm gonna reduce the size of the button so it's pretty similar to the one above. Uh, this might be a little shorter, it doesn't matter. You can fix that later. Again, we wanna highlight, right click, properties, event, on click, go to Code Builder this time. I'm going to throw in the code here. This ST where that's going to be our criteria. So that's going to make uh, a pop up come up and say, hey, enter employee ID. So this is the variable. This is just a message. You can change this to whatever you want. But essentially, uh, this ST where it's going to be a string. Uh, so we're making sure that it knows it's not a number. And then right here is where we open the form. Uh, this is the name of our form right here. This str where, that's this right here. So as soon as the form opens, it's gonna ask us to enter the employee ID. And you can leave these settings as is. And anything in the green here, this is just uh, a comment. You don't have to include this, you can take it out, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and try it. So I'm gonna hit form here. We're gonna click the button. And I know there's one that's 11, so let's just type in that, we'll hit enter. And there we go, it's right there. Okay, the last approach, we're gonna use a text box and a button. And it's pretty easy, even though it's the most difficult of the three. So we're gonna add a text box from right up there. And we're gonna get rid of this label that's right up there. Right here, delete. I'm gonna give this a name. We'll call this just text box, I guess. Text box. All right. We're gonna add a button. I like the toggle buttons better, but I'm gonna use these other ones just to show you. I'm gonna type in something like go. We can move that over. And so now we wanna highlight, it's already highlighted. Right click, properties, event, on click, code builder. I'm gonna throw in the code here. And I'm creating a new variable called new box value. That's based on what's in that text box. So this is us actually grabbing that text box value and giving it a new variable called new box value. And so right here, we are defining it as a number because we're gonna get the employee ID. And so what we're doing here, this is our str where statement. We're saying open the form, look for employee ID and make sure that's the same thing as this new box value, uh, the thing that we just created. All right, and then right here, we're opening the form. The form's called employees. We can leave this. This is our str where statement that's right here. And we can leave this and this. And this right here, 
The green part is just a comment, but this just makes the text box blank after you hit go. That just looks cleaner, I think. All right, let's give it a try. So I'm gonna type in 11, because I know there's an ID, an employee ID. It's 11. All right, that worked. So, what if we wanted to search by last name? We have to do things a little bit differently here. So, we wanna change this to string. Okay, and we want to put a single quote here and a single quote here. Now, if this was a date, you'd want to put date right here and you want to put the pound sign right here and right there. But this is just text data, so this should work just fine. So let's give it a try. Oh, before we do that, we got to do something important. We got to put a last name or otherwise it wouldn't work. Now let's try it. Hit view. Let's type in Howard. There we go, it worked. So, those are just a few ways that you can search for certain values from a main menu to open up a form. Lots of other ways to do it. These are just my favorite. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I appreciate you and take care.